think we um I think as we get towards that drawing of the year the, the closing of the year I think is, is a better term uh, we can start to feel quite tired and burnt out and so it's really important that we check in with ourselves see how we're feeling and then what can we do to change it so would love to hear who is joining me live please comment below if you're joining me live um, and we can um, we can get started sharing with you like what it is that is probably causing the tiredness uh, and then what you can do to change that, what you can do to really, really improve that. So I'm just going to share my screen with you, and I'd love it if you can comment below. Let me know that you've joined um, me, and I'm just making sure that my screen works. Let me know you're joining me tonight, and what is your reasons for joining? Are you lacking in energy? Are you feeling like a bit of a struggle? So um, what is it that's coming up for you? I'm just going to share my screen, and there we go. All right, good, good, good. All right, so those of you who don't know me, my name is Melissa Wilkes, Nutrition and Mindset Coach, and I'm super passionate about anything to do with health, well-being, food. I'm a huge foodie. Um, I actually help women to uh, help them with comfort eating, um, getting more nutrition in the body, having more energy. So this stuff that I'm talking about tonight is actually like, yeah, stuff I love to talk about. Um, and I, if I, if anything, I find I have too much energy <laughs> and I don't know what to do with it. Um, and I've, you know, I've been through the whole roller coaster of life. I've, I've been there, done that too. So I totally get how um, everyone is feeling. I think we, um, we're at a time where life is really fast paced and it's, it's where we're trying to keep up, right? We're trying to do all the things and meet all the expectations and run around for everybody and make sure everyone's feeling good. Um, and it's, yeah, it's very noticeable as we get into December. So do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> um, yeah. So tonight, how to get your energy back. And if you're joining me, please um, let me know uh, because I love to know who I'm talking and chatting with. And also I want to know how you're feeling about your energy levels. So let me know what's your energy like at the moment? How are you feeling? What is it that you're actually feeling at the moment? Where focus goes, energy flows. I love this. So is your focus on you? Is your focus on your health? on your well-being, on your mindset? Because if it's not, that's probably why you're not feeling the energy. Um, but when we're focusing on ourselves, then we're a lot more aware of what's going on and we can make those changes. So I'm going to bring about some focus tonight um, and share with you about what is going on, what could be happening within your body and your life that's creating this kind of exhaustion, overwhelm, or just really just feeling like quite blah which is normal in, to a certain extent as we get towards the end of the year, but not to that point that, you know, we're really struggling and finding it quite hard. So what I find is for most women, we are exhausted and overwhelmed. Can anybody relate to this? Is anyone else feeling exhausted and overwhelmed? And I think the biggest reason is we lack free time. Um, we really lack that that time for ourselves. We lack that opportunity to um, to give ourselves some downtime. Um, we forget to check in with ourselves, and we are not aware of our needs. Can anyone relate to that? Is that something that you can relate to um, as well? Let's have a look at the comments. Please keep commenting so I um, can help you through this one. Um, tried a lot, not much energy in pain and emotional. Yeah, well, when we're in pain, we definitely don't have energy. Um, and also um, we find our emotions are on the lower end of the scale. And so it's quite hard when we're emotionally drained to get our energy up. And it's funny because I haven't actually covered that in tonight's, um, well, I've got only a certain amount of time, but just think of energy in motion. Energy is motion. Emotion is energy motion. Emotion. 
So what can happen is if we have some stale emotions, if we have some um, regurgitated emotions, if we're having emotions that are playing over and over again, we can find that it, we are um, stuck and we're not moving forward and we are feeling a heaviness that's going on. So that's something to think about as well. I forgot to add that, um, but I'm adding it now. So I want you to check in with yourself. How are you feeling right now? Give yourself a bit of a body scan. Just go and literally like scan over your body and have a think about how is your body feeling right now? If you're really honest with yourself, how is your body feeling? Um, how is it moving? How is it? How is your mind going? You know, does your mind feel energetic? Um, these things are important to really be able to connect with what it is that's going on. Um, how do you feel when you wake up? So have you checked in with yourself? What is the way you're feeling when you wake up? Because if you're feeling tired, if you're feeling exhausted as soon as you wake up, then that's going to be pretty much what is going to be the trajectory of the whole day. I mean, if you wake up feeling exhausted, it's pretty hard to improve from that because we kind of know that in the afternoon when we've done lots of stuff, our energy level is going to drop. But if you wake up and your energy level is already really low, it's very hard to power up that hill. Um, and that can feel really overwhelming in itself. That can feel very fatiguing if we don't have that um, energy when we first wake up. Uh, for a lot of us, we're just used to just surviving. So we're just doing the bare minimum of, of what we can handle because there's too much on our plate or we've got into the habit of um, surviving and not thriving. We're in the habit of do putting too many things on our plate or really maybe life is actually really hectic at the moment and this is the best we can do um is what we're trying to do and um yep you wake up feeling tired yeah well I mean it's important that we can recognize that and see that right because um you know I think that when we have that realization that the way we wake up is going to affect the rest of our day and it's very hard to get the motor going um, and really push throughout the day if you're already waking um, waking up and not feeling it so I think it's key to just have that awareness how am I waking up and am I in survival mode Am I in survival mode just going through the motions because there's just too much to do and that all the days are just too busy or life is just feeling really, really hard? Coping and surviving isn't a comfortable way to live. And I think that's important to understand as well. We get really caught up in just coping and surviving. We don't even realize we're doing it. It's not like we're full on robots or anything like that, although some women's behavior can be that way, and I totally get it being there too. Um, but we get we get just stuck and caught up in that running on that hamster wheel and not realizing how much we're not in touch with the fact that we're not enjoying life. We're literally just coping. We're literally just surviving. Um, and that's not really a fun way to be. And we start to find ways to feel better that is generally not the best option for us. Um, so like I said to my clients, when you, when your life isn't sweet, you'll look for something that's sweet. When your life feels like crap, you'll look for crap. Mm. Um, so it's important to really recognize that as well. When we don't feel good, we will try and find a way to feel good. And we're designed that way. We're designed for the feel-good um, feelings. We're designed for some joy, laughter, and fun. And if we're time poor, if we're exhausted, if we have no energy, it's going to be the things that are not necessarily serving us. They're not the things that make us feel good. And maybe we're so lacking in energy 
that we can't handle making a, another decision. We can't handle the thought of like even having a conversation with somebody by the end of the day. So what we do is we get into this like pretty, pretty, um, pretty, uh, what's the right word? Wobbly kind of behavior where we're touch and go with our behavior. And I call it numbing out. And that is where you're exhausted, you're tired, life's not fun. Um, you're really in that survival mode. And so things like alcohol and ice cream and chocolate and not making proper dinners, maybe you're eating out of a cereal bowl, and you're just really finding that you're struggling and the numbing out is the only thing that is getting you through and, and making you feel better. And that can be really, really hard when you are in that state of numbing out, when you um, are in a pattern of behavior that's doing it quite um, regularly. Um, so what is happening within the body? When we're lacking energy, our body is doing two things. I'm not sure if anybody knows what our body is doing when we're lacking energy. I'm happy to hear from you, like pop in the comments. What is it that our body is doing when we're lacking in energy? Does anyone know? Our body is actually searching. It's searching for two particular things. It's doing a little scan and a search whenever it can feel that we're like lacking in energy. And this can be at any time through the day, any time throughout the day when we're lacking energy, our body is actually doing a search or a scan for two very important things. I keep flicking over to my um, other screen. So if you are joining us, please let me know and please share your answers. Our body is looking for a way to get sleep. It needs sleep. It's what our body actually needs. It's tired. We don't have energy. So it's just the same as when we have to charge something when the battery goes flat. Our body knows that it needs recharging. And when we are ignoring that we're ignoring our body saying I need sleep please give me sleep I need sleep I need sleep and if you find that you're sleeping all the time and you're still tired that is your body not being able to keep you going throughout the day that isn't normal there is a reason why that's happening and that is something that you don't want to be experiencing um, for a long period of time you want to be changing um, and making changes so that that is not happening so one of the first things our body's doing when we're lacking energy is it's figuring out how we can get some sleep. So what can happen is that we are feeling the strong pull to sleep all day or we're actually sleeping all day because the nighttime sleep isn't enough. The other thing our body is searching for and doing a scan for is a fuel source. So just like plugging in battery, it's like the same, you know, kind of um, analogy of putting fuel in the car. Our body needs fuel. When it's on empty, just the same as a car, we can't get anywhere, we can't do anything, we can't perform. So our body needs fuel. It's searching for fuel. It's looking, scanning, sending out cravings and signals and looking for some sort of fuel then the problem is what have you taught the body is fuel so if you've taught your body that it's starchy carbs is fuel or sugary foods are fuel then you can feel less than ordinary so what is it that you have taught your body is fuel. And for a lot of women that come and um, work with me, um, one of the first things I ask, you know, like what is it that you're generally eating? What is the foods that you're craving? And for most women, it's um, sugar or the starchy, carby, crappy junk food. And that's because our body has learnt that that is fuel or it's learnt that that's what you're going to feed it when it's deprived and what happens is it gets really hard to get off and out of that cycle that body cycle of craving and wanting and thinking constantly about the sugar foods about the greasy starchy kind of foods that are really heavy in the body 
And it wants those because it thinks it's going to make it feel better and give more energy. And um, in fact, um, we get caught up in this, but that doesn't work. In, in fact, it's actually one of the worst things that we can do for ourselves. So there's the scary fours, <laughs> scary fours. They're the, the four things that women seem to be doing a lot of right now. Um, the, all the women I'm speaking to, the women I meet are doing these four things that are contributing to the lack of energy in our body. These four things are why we are lacking in energy. Can you relate? Do you find yourself either stressed um, throughout the day or easily stressed throughout the day? Do you find yourself constantly thinking about sugar? Where is the next sugar hit? How can you have sugar? Is that sugar through the sweet foods or is it sugar that you're getting through your, um, your white foods? Sleep, lack of, women's habits, putting ourselves last or, um, and so we're running around after everybody and there's no time to sleep. Or it could be that you're literally racing around after everybody all day. So by the time you get to the end of the day, you find yourself staying up late um, because you want to have some downtime because the day was so exhausting and your brain hasn't caught up. But what happens is you're not getting enough sleep, which is where we rest and restore. And the other habit that is very common is the scroll. Just sitting on your phone, scroll, 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 and before you know it, time has disappeared. It's mind-numbing behavior, the scrolling. The, the stress and the sugar is addiction. Staying up late or not getting the right amount of sleep or not having a healthy amount of sleep um, are some really common habits of women that are really struggling in energy. So if you can relate to this, you'll probably notice that your energy levels aren't great. So what can we do to make some changes? First thing is rate it. Wake up in the morning and rate your energy level. So I love to say like obviously a zero means you can't even get out of bed. A five is like fairly average. It's not great at all. And a 10 is you absolutely bouncing out of bed, so energized, so excited about the day, feeling amazing. If you can start the day and you rate it, then you've got a fair idea of what your body needs. And you're more likely to be able to fulfill that need if you have a good idea of how um, you know, what is actually happening within the body. So rating means that you've got that opportunity to have that self-awareness, to tap in and sort of see what is it that's going on with your body. Get out of your four walls. Solution number one, get out of your four walls. We are not designed to be inside all day, every day. We're not designed to be in a house all day. We're not inside to be designed to be in a workplace all day. If you look at those pictures, I am sure you will say to me that those pictures are making you feel calm. And that's just looking at those pictures. Imagine actually being there. Imagine being there. Imagine sitting in front of the beach, no one's around, and just hear the water lapping onto the sand. It's relaxing, right? It's rejuvenating. It's restoring. It's everything that the mind and body needs to feel better, to have more energy. This one's an interesting one. You would have thought when you've got no energy, the last thing you need to do is burn energy, but it's not the case. And when we move, we release all the right endorphins. We get the body energized. We get the blood flow going, get the heart pumping. Um, it releases all those feel-good emotions. Um, and it really helps us to lift our vibrational energy, lift our mood um, and lift our emotions. So, you know, movement can be anything. Like people are so used to thinking that movement equals going to the gym and sweating it out. Movement can be jumping on the couch or a trampoline or just dancing. 
Um, it can be stretching. It could be popping on YouTube and doing a, a 10 minute yoga session. Movement can be whatever you want it to be. It doesn't have to be hard. It can be easy. So how can um, movement work for you in a way that you will enjoy it and it won't feel like more energy zapping? Another thing, let go. What can you let go of? And how can you ask for help? And how can you delegate to people? Women especially have a habit of putting too much on their plate. And I know this is something that I sometimes do as well. We think we're failing if we have to ask for help. We think we're failing if we are delegating things to others or seeking out outside um, support and help. And that's not the case at all. We aren't super women. Oh, well, we are super women, but even super women has to get help, right? So how can we let go of some of the stuff that don't need, doesn't need to be done? And I know as we're leading up towards a deadline, and Christmas is actually a deadline for us. It's actually a deadline. It's a deadline of the 25th of the 12th, 2022. And, you know, that when I was talking, when I first stopped on, on, on here about how you, how much energy and time and money you spend on Christmas, right? I mean, sorry, on your wedding. Well, I was talking about my own wedding. It's not that much different for Christmas. It's all this energy and time for one day. So what can you let go of if you're trying to get things to be perfect or you're trying to get this or that? What can you let go of? What can you source out or just not do? Um, because that's going to make a huge difference. If you're really lacking in energy um, and you don't have time to see someone like me or someone else, maybe you need some support um, and looking at some supplementation. If this is something you're interested in, I'm happy to help with even some suggestions. Um, partnered up with an amazing company um, and I am using their stuff daily. And I'm tell you what, I've got, I do not know how I would have got through the last couple of months I've been work, working ridiculous hours doing so much stuff and I've know for a fact that some of the things that I'm taking are just really keeping me high energy high vibe and just yeah really like thriving so um, it doesn't have to be something you do all the time but it could be something that you're doing right now that can help you um, and some of those things could be things like this is something I take um, I've got it on on my um, desk it's called chill and this is this is so good because if I'm feeling stressed or overwhelmed I just pop a couple of drops under the tongue and it just calms me right down and it's just perfect when I'm feeling really really exhausted um, or it might not be that I'm feeling exhausted. I might just feel stressed. And so from that, just taking that stress away lifts my energy right back up again. For a lot of women, water. We're not drinking enough water. And energy, lack of um, energy comes from a lack of water. So that is super important as well. How can you um, get your water intake up? Um, like, especially if we're warmer it's a warmer time we should be really drinking a lot of water and most women aren't drinking enough um, it's entertaining time it is socializing time but what can you cut down on do you need to cut down on some of the inflammation foods you need to cut down on some of the inflammation drinks like if you know you're drinking on the weekend you're going to some Christmas do's can you look at cutting down on some of the alcohol that you would normally drink so maybe it's like you know, don't drink on the other nights or, um, you know, not going all out and just making that decision. You know, I really want to have my energy. My energy for the week is more important than drinking, um, you know, all weekend. So just really weighing up what is important to you. And it might not be that you want to eliminate it, but it could be that you just cut down. You're just making different choices. And this is how I get my energy. I'm a big one for dark green leafy veggies um, and what I and herbs they're so medicinal and I know that it's going to lift my vibration and the best way to get a heap of veggies in for me is juice 
Um, so I love my green juices, uh, especially if I've got like big events on or I've got a bit, a bit of a deadline for work and I've really got to put in some, you know, decent amount of hours and my attention and focus is somewhere. I need to get my energy up. I need to get my focus up. And so I'll just smash a heap of green veggies um, with in juice. And it's just easy. I can drink it. I can do it on the go. It's just I just find it um, works so well. So that's really good as well. Um, and um, yeah, also, have you considered cleansing your mind and body? So what could be happening is you could have some toxins in the body. Uh, you could have things that you need to eliminate from the body, heavy metals. Um, you could be having uh, just a real big buildup within the body. And that happens to all of us, even the most healthy of us. Um, of us. So um, look at maybe what you need to consider is can you cleanse your mind and body? So cleansing mind is um, downtime, getting off social media, having a break from stuff that is just stressful and cleansing the body is really doing some cleansing tools and also cleansing foods. Um, something I do three times a year. Next one is uh, the 16th of January. Um, so just really looking at how you can cleanse the body. Uh, I'm not a big one for just doing like a juice cleanse or something. I feel like we need to have whole foods um, and I love doing it in a way that's easy. It's not really hard. And you're just bringing in food. It doesn't feel like you're taking stuff out. You're just bringing in lots of colors, lots of veggies. Um, uh, I don't if anyone wants information about the cleanse, please pop in the comments. I'll let you know. Um, but how can you get um, your body flushing all the um, toxins and um, just really helping your body do a detoxification? Um, and I just find that cleansers are such a fantastic way of doing that. So, um, and that just so many benefits. You think clearer, glowing skin, increased energy, better moods. Oh, it, the list is endless. So, um, so many benefits from uh, cleansing. I'm not sure if anybody else has um, done a cleanse with me before. And if you know what it feels like, um, I'll just get Abby to pop the details below in case anyone does feel like cleansing you're more than welcome um, to check that out or ask any questions um, and I would love to hear what are you going to do to increase your energy um, over the next um, week or two just to make sure that by the time you get to Christmas time you're feeling that high energy you're feeling that high vibe um, and you're really um, checking in on yourself and making sure that you're feeling really really good so I hope that's really helped you tonight, sharing that info um, and being able to have that opportunity to look after yourself, support yourself, cleanse yourself, feel really, really good about yourself um, and have that high energy. All right. Take care. Thank you so much for joining um, and I'll see you later.